Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how much money you guys can make by selling chamoy or rim paste. If you guys are interested in this video, please keep on watching. These are some of the ingredients I'm going to be using to make the rim paste. I am not going to show you guys how to make it in this video because I already have a detailed video showing you guys how to make that. I will leave it linked above for you guys. I did purchase these containers here on Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below. And if you guys don't have a local dulceria like I do, I will leave these um, linked for you. You can buy them on Amazon. However, they are a little bit pricier than if you do go to your local Dulceria, Walmart, uh, Fry's has them also. So let's get started with the video. I recently made a video on how to make the chamoy rim paste. And since then I have been making it for small gatherings that I've had at my house. And my friends have loved it. Um, I have had a lot of feedback that I should make it for sale, which I never intended to. However, I've gotten so many requests and a few of my coworkers um, told me that they wanted to try it and I decided to buy containers to sell it. So that's what I'm going to be doing for today's video. This is my first time selling it. I have done a bit of research of how much these typically sell for. Um, I've seen anywhere from like $9 to like the more expensive is like $15. I'm going to be selling an eight ounce container for $8. I decided to go with a little bit of a cheaper route just because I don't know how everybody's gonna feel about it. So I want everybody to be able to taste it. And if they want more, of course I can always make more, but I did say that I got the eight ounce. There's a five ounce container also, and there's I think like a 16 ounce container. So if you wanna sell more of it, I would definitely encourage you to sell it for more expensive, but Towards the end of the video, I will show you a breakdown of how much I invested into making it and how much money I earned, uh, profited pretty much from it. So I'm excited. We will see how it turns out. There is a lot of handwork that needs to be involved in making it. Um, we do have the pulparindos candies that I have here, and these are all pre-packaged. So each one of them is packaged, so I need to get unpackaging them and then I need to put them in the stove. So if you guys haven't watched that video, I would recommend you watching it if you guys are interested on how to make it to sell it. But I am excited to get started, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys and I'm gonna get started on peeling these. have made it to the end of the video and like I mentioned to you guys I am going to be sharing what um, I ended up making uh, as a profit out of making all of the rim paste um, to start off with I did get a total of 37 orders uh, for the rim paste uh, my husband actually helped me out a lot because he sold a lot more of them at his work so that's kind of how I was able to make business out of it um, I did put this out on Instagram also so I did get a few orders on there so that's how i was able to get business um making the rim paste but as far as how much i invested into buying the uh chamoy the containers the lucas and the tamarindo candies i wasted a total of 73 dollars and 73 cents um it's kind of a lot but i think i've wasted more money when i've prepped for strawberries than this itself. I was able to make $312 out of it. Um, that's not including just what I profited from it. That's including the whole total. Um, I think it, it's, it was a lot of money. I think I've made more selling the chamoy itself than I have selling the strawberries. And there's a lot more labor that goes into making the strawberries. So if you guys have seen both of my videos, I would highly recommend you guys try this if you guys are trying to make more money. It, I was able to make money faster and I didn't have to break my back as much. Um, it's still a lot of maneuvering with melting down the tamarindo candy. If you guys haven't watched the video of how to make it, um, please watch that video so you guys can kind of see 
how to make it because I did not explain it at all in this video. But um, I did end up making a profit of $238 with 27 cents, which is pretty decent profit. I made more, I mean, I made like three times what I invested into it, which is pretty crazy. But I was very lucky that my husband was able to get so many orders in. Um, I made the orders Wednesday and he was able to give me more orders for Thursday. So that's how I was able to make so much money out of it. But I do hope you guys did like this video. If you guys do like these videos, please don't forget to like this video. If you guys want me to try something different, just comment down below so I know what kind of um, businesses you guys want me to try doing for you guys. But if you guys did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. So no, so no.